Hi, this is Josh from Ramella, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to change uh, all of the filters on a Cut 200 SP. Uh, there's uh, two different types of filters. Uh, one are the big made, uh, drum filters uh, that go from the dirty tank to the clean tank, and then there's a smaller filter in the back. And today I'm going to show you how to replace both of those. Replacing filters. You'll know when to do it. Uh, you'll get alarms that will first start out as warnings. Uh, there'll be high pressure filter, filter overpressure alarms, which will then change to red errors and it'll actually stop you from machining. So the first thing we're gonna do is change the drum filters. So we'll go over here. The two drum filters are in this compartment. So what you need to do is just pull up to uncover the two filters. If you're gonna be replacing the filters, it's a good idea to actually keep the water off for a while and let the two filters drain completely so you're not getting water everywhere. Two filters are connected with uh, these quick disconnect valves. You actually can't take them off until you close the valves. So the first thing you do is just twist and close the valves. Now you're able to uh, pull the quick disconnects off. So here we'll set them to the side, but you actually need these two connections. Uh, so the very first thing to do is get a crescent wrench and take off the connectors because the new ones do not come with these connectors. Now we'll open up the new filters. Now we'll put the connectors back on. Now we can put them into place, just set them on the rack. Reconnect. Open up the valve. And then what we're gonna do is keep the cover off, uh, turn on the water and make sure everything's flowing correctly. So come back over here, just turn on the pumps like normal. And right now we actually have a leak. Uh, so we're gonna turn this off and fix that. One of the O-rings on the quick disconnect on the valve is coming out and the quick disconnect needs to be replaced. Every time I turn the valve, uh, that O-ring comes out. Uh, all we need to do is just kind of push it back in and that should stop the leak. This is what it should look like operating normally. Uh, no water is spraying anywhere. It's all dripping out the bottom. Uh, everything's good to go so we can turn off the, the pumps and uh, put the cover back on. Make sure to mop up any excess liquid that's been uh, left around so it's not a slipping hazard. Once you've replaced the two drum filters, uh, you'll notice that when you're cutting your next parts that the water will get really, really dirty. Uh, that is actually to be expected. The filters uh, get better at filtering as you go along. The, the particles will actually help it to filter. So don't worry if uh, the water is very a lot dirtier than when you were running the filters before. Uh, that'll go away over time. So now, we're gonna replace uh, the small filter in the back. So we need a new filter and we'll go to the back uh, and grab the dirty one. So the filter actually sits under this cabinet and I'm just gonna remove the entire cover. This is the pneumatic uh, manifold and here is the housing for the filter that we're talking about. Uh, it's just screwed in. Uh, it can be pretty tight so you might need to get a good grip on it. Here's the old filter. Uh, it's actually full of water so we're going to take it around to the front to dump it off and change the filter. Here you can see the old filter is uh, pretty covered in small dust and so we're going to switch this out 
First thing to do is there's actually grease around the edge, some old grease, because there's an O-ring that helps it seat, so just wipe that off. Clean off the threads, clean out the inside a little bit. The filter, there is a little uh, cylinder inside that this can just press onto. Line it up in the middle and then we're just gonna add a little bit of grease uh, to the O-ring and screw it back on. So once again, taking the same grease that the machine uses, just apply a little bit to the O-ring just so that it seats nicely. Now we can just go screw it back in. Make sure you go straight up uh, because if you don't get the threads right, uh, it won't seal correctly and you'll spray water everywhere. Now, once again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the pumps, make sure everything's sealed. Uh, similar to the lower head, uh, sometimes the O-ring takes a little bit to set and you might need to cycle the pumps a couple times and it'll settle out. If you continue to have a leak, uh, most likely what the problem is, is that you actually threaded it a little bit at an angle and uh, the O-ring's not sealing correctly. But uh, other than that, that's how you change the two uh, filters on this machine. Three, two, one. Uh, solid chance. Gonna... This one sucks. I hate this one.